by actually taming blood vessels remarkably for people who have lost vision, we can actually, in some cases, reverse vision loss and restore lost vision. Welcome back to the Longevity Deprocess channel. Wow, being able to restore vision loss is truly amazing. Dr. William Lee's work is revolutionizing our understanding of how can protect and improve our eyesight through diet. For those who might not be familiar, Dr. William Lee is a world-renowned physician, scientist, and author, known for his groundbreaking research in disease prevention and treatment. His work spans across various fields, but his focus on vision health is particularly noteworthy. Dr. Lee's research delves deep into how we can use food as medicine, specifically targeting the mechanisms that affect our eyesight. In this video, Dr. Lee will share his insights on the two most common reasons for blindness in individuals over 60 years old, macular degeneration and diabetic retinopathy. These conditions can drastically impact quality of life, but Dr. Lee's approach offers hope. Next, he will discuss the critical role of angiogenesis, the process of new blood vessel formation in maintaining and restoring vision. This process is pivotal in preventing vision loss and even reversing damage. Stay tuned as Dr. Lee unpacks the science behind angiogenesis and reveals how specific foods can support healthy blood vessels in the eyes. Circulation, make blood circulate. Okay, angiogenesis. Angio is blood, blood vessel. Genesis is how, they, how the body grows them. So angiogenesis is simply how our body grows and protects blood vessels. And what's really amazing is that uh, we've got 60,000 miles worth of blood vessels packed into our adult bodies, under the skin, through all of our tissues, all the way down to the bone, and even inside the bone, we've got more circulation. Dr. William Lee has just enlightened us on the fascinating process of angiogenesis, which is responsible for growing and protecting the 60,000 miles of blood vessels in our body, extending even into our bones. This vital process plays a crucial role in maintaining overall health, including our vision. Now, let's delve deeper into another critical aspect of our health, the circulation between our eyes and brain. Our eyes are not just windows to the world, they are also direct extensions of our brain. The blood vessels that nourish our eyes are intimately connected to those that support our brain. Oh, a quick favor, we'd greatly appreciate it, if you can subscribe and like. This helps the YouTube algorithm recognize the value of our content and share it more widely, making circulation between these two organs absolutely essential for optimal function. Next, Dr. Lee will discuss how enhancing eye brain circulation can significantly impact our vision and cognitive health. He will share insights on how specific foods and lifestyle choices can improve this vital circulation, potentially preventing common vision problems and promoting overall brain health. Stay tuned as Dr. Lee continues to reveal more about the intricate connections within our body and how we can support them through mindful eating. Circulation is likely compromised. I have a patient, and this is about 10 years ago when the, these breakthrough treatments, these are the injections came out. Before that, there were no treatments, okay? Uh, I had a patient who was in her 80s. Her favorite thing was playing golf. You know, it requires a, a good vision to hit that ball and good coordination. And she was so bummed when she had macular degeneration. She couldn't see the golf, golf ball. I got her on treatment. And uh, in about two months, I got a call from her out of the blue. And she's like, guess where I'm calling you from, Dr. Lee? I'm calling you from the golf course and I am playing my game and, and really scoring and doing really well at it again. You took me from not being able to see my, the ball to being able to see again. And in fact, I'm like, how did you get there? Her name was Gloria. And she said, you know, because I, I, I knew she couldn't drive because of the vision loss. She was like, guess what? I drove myself as well. I, I got my license back because I could see again. So this is dramatic stuff when you actually tame and keep blood vessels healthy. And by the way, the same foods and approaches that actually uh, maintain vascular health. This is what we're talking about. Blood vessels that you wouldn't normally look, look at. Like when you look in the mirror when you've had a late night out, okay, and you see your eyes are bloodshot, it just it's an example of how many blood vessels in your eye. The ones that count for vision, you can't see in the mirror. They're behind the eye. You know when you go to the eye doctor and they dilate your pupils and they put your chin on and they look deep, You're, they're really looking at part of your brain. They're looking at that tapestry, the neurons that are there interlaced with blood vessels. We can see it all. Now, what? The, so the key thing is that the foods that actually can be used to protect the approach, 
protect that carpet of neurons interlaced with blood vessels, keeping those blood vessels healthy, taming those abnormal blood vessels, also turn out to be protective for the brain as well. And so here is sort of a twofer, right? Uh, you were talking about like uh, uh, the, the, the eye and the brain uh, being uh, outside of the skull. Here's a better way to think about it. The brain, like your skull, is really a two-level house, okay? The brain is on the upstairs, on the second floor, and underneath the brain, underneath the floor, which is the bottom part of the skull housing your brain, on the first floor are your eyes. So the part of your brain that's on the first floor are your eyes, and then you go walk upstairs, and now the brain's right there. And so this connection just like in your house, of the circuitry and the circulation between your eyes and your brain suddenly makes sense. And what we eat can be good for the brain, good for the nerves, and what's good for the brain, the blood vessels and the nerves in the brain, also good for blood vessels and nerves in the eyes. Dr. William Lee just shared an inspiring story about a patient with macular degeneration who experienced significant pro in just two months, regaining the ability to see. This remarkable recovery underscores the power of specific foods to not only support eye health but also protect the brain. It's a true two-for-one benefit, as the same foods that nourish our eyes also enhance brain function and improve circulation. Dr. Lee emphasized the importance of these nutrient-rich foods for maintaining both brain and eye health. He will delve deeper into the science behind blood vessels and circulation, explaining how they play a crucial role in sustaining gore vision and cognitive abilities. By understanding the intricate connections between our eyes, brain, and blood vessels, we can better appreciate how dietary choices impact our overall health. Let's join Dr. Lee as he goes into more detail about how enhancing blood vessel health and circulation can have profound effects on our vision and brain function. He will provide valuable insights into how we can incorporate the cell of changing foods into our daily diet to support optimal health. Okay. Angiogenesis. Angio is blood, blood vessel. Genesis is how, they, how the body grows them. So angiogenesis is simply how our body grows and protects blood vessels. And what's really amazing is that uh, we've got 60,000 miles worth of blood vessels packed into our adult bodies, under the skin, through all of our tissues, all the way down to the bone, and even inside the bone, we've got more circulation. And our blood vessels are the highways and byways that bring the oxygen that we breathe and the nutrients that we to, to feed every single organ, including our eyes and especially our brain, okay? That's really the connection. So when we have healthy blood vessels, very good circulation. Our vision is actually good. When we've got good circulation in our brain, our cognition is actually good. And guess what happens when we start to have problems with our vision? The most common causes of vision loss and cognitive loss is actually interference with the circulation of both our eyes and our brain. Not surprisingly, both are in our heads and our skull connected to each other. And so this, you know, sort of like what feeds the brain feeds the eye what ails the brain also can ail the eye as well so let's you know use that as kind of a jumping off point to thinking about what research is teaching us dr william lee just explained how our blood vessels act as highways delivering essential oxygen and nutrients to every organ including our eyes and brain when our blood vessels are healthy our circulation is strong supporting optimal vision and cognitive function However, issues with blood circulation can lead to problems in both our eyes and brain, highlighting the critical connection between these systems. Dr. Lee emphasized that maintaining good circulation is vital for preserving our vision and brain health. Research is increasingly showing us how interconnected these aspects of our health truly are. Now, Dr. Lee will delve into one of the most common reasons for vision loss in people over 60, diabetic blindness. Understanding the impact of diabetes on our vision and overall health is Dr. crucial. Dr. Lee will share his insights on how we can protect our eyes and maintain healthy circulation, even in the face of such challenges. Let's join him as he explores a significant issue of diabetic blindness and offers practical advice on prevention and management. The most common cause of vision loss over the age of 60 is uh, uh, diabetes. Di for people with diabetes, is diabetic blindness. All right, high blood sugars, 
uh, kind of um, marinate uh, uh, in your bloodstream all of the blood vessels. And when blood vessels are overly marinated with high blood sugar and all the, th- the consequences of what high blood sugar can do, including to your insulin and all the other hormones and metabolites in your body, you know what the blood vessels do? They actually start to shut down. And when the blood vessels shut down, it sparks new blood vessels to try to heal the shutdown areas. And when that happens in the eye, it causes a big problem. And here's the reason why. Your eye, my eye, eyes, I should say plural, are crystal balls. Okay, think about them. They're a, a little bit smaller than a golf ball, um, and they're crystal clear. From the front of the eye, you get light. Wake up in the morning, you see the bright sunlight. That's light entering your eye, going through um, clear liquid. All right, it's like a fish tank with an aquarium. The light goes right in, goes through a hole, the pupil, and then goes right to the back of the eye. And the back of the eye, which is connected to the brain, there is a carpet of nerves. The nerve carpet of nerves is called the retina. You may have heard of the retina, but it's really literally a carpet of nerves that can that is made of uh, neurons. Okay, brain cells, effectively. Um, interlaced, woven, stitched together with a circulation because the power it takes to process the the, the uh, uh, definition that we want for our vision requires a lot of blood flow, a lot of oxygen. And so the nerves and blood vessels are laced together, okay, like a, like a beautiful old-fashioned tablecloth. And when the light signals hit that nerve signal and it's powered by the blood supply, it allows that nerve signal to go straight into our brain, okay, right to the back of our brain. And basically, that's how we actually see. Now, the uh, circulation, when it has to grow to overcome damaged blood vessels from a disease like diabetes. Okay, a quick interruption just to summarize what Dr. Lee has explained so far before he delves into macular degeneration. Dr. Lee highlighted that the most common reason for vision loss in diabetics over 60 is diabetic blindness. This condition arises when high blood sugar levels effectively marinate the blood vessels, causing them to shut down. In response, Thebody attempts to compensate by creating new blood vessels. However, when this process occurs in the eyes, it leads to significant problems. When circulation has to grow to overcome damaged blood vessels due to a disease like diabetes, it results in complications that can severely impact vision. The eyes are particularly vulnerable to these changes, making it crucial to manage blood sugar levels and maintain healthy blood vessels to protect our sight. Next, Dr. Lee will go into more detail about macular degeneration and how it further affects vision, especially in older adults. Let's continue to learn from Dr. Lee's invaluable insights. Or there's something called macular degeneration, most common cause of uh, blindness, vision loss in people over the age of 60 um, without diabetes. So we're, it's, it's when blood vessels are unhealthy and they do the same thing. They uh, react to their unhealthy state by trying to grow more of themselves in order to maintain the blood flow that is actually not adequate. And when the blood vessels grow in the eye, listen, this is a crystal clear ball. When blood vessels have extra blood vessels have to grow to compensate for problems in circulation, that's where there's there's not a lot of room for growing new blood vessels. And so when those new blood vessels grow, they grow abnormally from diabetes or aging, they leak. Now, I told you there's fluid in the eye, it's crystal clear, but when blood vessels leak, they're leaking cloudy fluid or they're leaking blood. Now, immediately, we put blood into this crystal clear aquarium. It's kind of like dumping, uh, you know, ink into your fish tank. What do you think is going to happen? You're not going to be able to see through that ink, right? And all of a sudden, you are losing vision. And so the most common causes of vision loss in the world are due to abnormal blood vessels, unhealthy blood vessels. And that's why some of the real breakthroughs that have come through the work I and other people have done is to develop anti-angiogenic blood vessel taming. Think about the lion tamer in the circus. Down boy, okay? Down blood vessels, back to normal, beat them back into shape, prevent that leaking. That is actually the uh, biggest breakthrough in the treatment of vision loss to prevent diabetic blindness and blindness from aging, from macular degeneration. Okay. 
Now, to get those treatments done, you got to inject in the eye. You got to put a needle in the eye, which nobody volunteers for. It works really well. So the question is, how can you avoid getting there to begin with? We don't want to ever get that needle in the eye. Dr. Lee has just explained the most common cause of blindness in people over 60 who do not have diabetes. This condition occurs when blood vessels in the eye become unhealthy and react abnormally by growing to compensate for the blood vessels that leak. These new blood vessels grow abnormally and leak cloudy fluid or blood, leading to vision problems. Fortunately, there's a breakthrough in treatment that helps tame these blood vessels and manage the condition more effectively. Next doctor, Lee will provide a solution that could help protect your vision and improve your eye health. Let's see what valuable insights he has to offer. As the circulation returns, what can we actually do to help protect it? And this is where diet comes in because our nutrition can help us keep blood vessels healthy and they can also help to tame those um, blood vessels that might think about acting up. And that's really where uh, eating to beat vision loss is a reality today. Please consider giving us a thumbs up, sharing this video with your friends and family, and subscribing to our channel for more valuable content on health and wellness. Your support enables us to continue delivering essential information to assist you in leading a healthier life. Thank you for watching, and as always, I wish you excellent health, wealth, and happiness, with the key to vitality in your hands.